and uh, that's all art of modeling. Okay, now we'll say over, make a close up view. Get this coffee cup out of the way. Excuse my back, fellas. Okay, here we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you something special here. There she is right there sitting. And uh, that's how she is right now from the last video. I'm going to start working on the cabin now and um, get her ready to go. See guys, I'm constantly dusting all the time. Clean. So that's how she is right now, just, just like in the last picture. I got something else I want to show you here, guys. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. I've been working out the back of my garage. And uh, get my big shop out there. So I can start working my big toys out there. And uh, so this winter time, instead of being back in this room, I'll, be, I'll get some big projects I'll be working on. Okay, talk about projects. This came in, um, I think, two days ago. No, it came in yesterday. This is the Dovis USS Whitehall. That's an Admiral class minesweeper, and uh, she's pretty much similar to the old Lindbergh kit. These are Admiral class minesweeper, but they're redesignated as patrol craft, PC craft, because um, late back in World War II, most minesweepers were, uh, especially Admiral class. They became obsolete in the role as a minesweeper. They found out that they can do a lot more. That being a minesweeper, they can become a an escort. They can do do submarine patrols. They can carry depth charge racks instead of carrying paravanes. So the choice is yours, fellas. If you want to make an MSO out of this, make a minesweeper. First thing you gotta do is get rid of those depth charges because they don't, minesweepers didn't carry depth charges. And you had two davits back here, which operate, which held your paravanes back here. And they didn't have any gravity type Marshall boat davits to lower your boat. That's why you had this boom back here. This boom was supposed to pick up the boat, lower it in the water. But you didn't have any boat boat davits on MSOs. The kit is gives you what it gives you. When it comes to making the guns, the kit calls out for H and R products. You gotta go to uh, places like Blue Jacket Ship Crafters, uh, H&R product, people that make uh, make scale art, scale guns like 40 millimeters, five inch guns, all kinds of all kinds of uh, fittings. So all the fittings for this kit has got to be purchased. Again, you're running into money, so you got to get your own choice of what uh, what fittings you want to use. Blue Jacket's good. Blue Jacket's the oldest model company there is in the world. They got all kinds of fittings. And H&R products is very good too. So this is a scale of uh, 1 8 196 scale. And uh, so they got a lot of 1 8 fitting, 1 8 and, uh, and 1 16 They're very popular scales. And uh, so this thing is 23 inches long. Again, it comes with uh, just like just like the um, the Dumas Carol Moran. You need a fiberglass. You gotta cut all this out right through here, right through here, and do sanding. And you gotta glue them together, use epoxy and stuff. And, and the option too, a power plant. 
is that they give you uh, that you got to have a uh, either you can have single screw or twin screw. These things had twin screws. Now you got to have two motors for this thing to run that. Or what they do is give you a cheap way out. You got to order the Dumas White All running gear set, which contains stuffing box, a propeller shaft, a brass prop, universal fittings, and a dog bone. That's all they give you. And I believe that's a handsome sum, about 50, 60 bucks right there. To save yourself $120, $120 and buying two sets of those and two motors. You can buy two motors for less than $30 that are 4.8 motors and go down to your hobby shop and get yourself some brass tubing. And they got that threaded, brass, threaded nickel rod down there the hobby shops where they use for push rods that hook up clevises to your radio control airplanes. The threaded end, you put your prop in, and you're going to take that rod and run it right through your stuffing box. There you go, you save yourself some money. All you got to do is send away for the props and the motors, you're ready to go. So there's all kinds of easy way out in this thing. There's an option, either have one screw or two. I'm going to put two. I ain't going to do this next year. Like I said, guys, when I finish up the, the, the Carol Moran, I'm back on the Wild Blue Yonder. So I got a lot of good stuff coming up next year, and uh, when it comes around the corner, excuse me, guys. So that's my that's my Dumas USS Whitehall PC craft XMSO, and uh, that'll be it. Okay. Tomorrow I'm going to try to get a video out for you for the George Washburn. I was supposed to have that out for you a couple of days ago, but like I said, I was sitting at home, my wife said, Frank, <coughs> somebody's on the phone. I said, okay. I walked over and they waited me to go to work. A couple of guys got sick. I can handle some extra money. And uh, so I went to work. They took me away from the bench, but it's time, guys. I'll have it out there for you. And uh, so, anyway, I'm going to get that demon cleaned up and get her, get her on the way. And uh, I forgot I even had that thing sitting there, sitting over here all that time. So it's got to be cleaned and uh, prepared, ready to be uh, painted. So right now I'm concentrating on this tug. I'm going to get this tug done, get it in the water. After that, I'm going to make a video of this tug too. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start shaking some, some plastic your way. Like I said, she's going fast, and uh, so it's going to be fast now because the hard part's over the hull. Okay, I can't think of any more on the agenda right now, and uh, I got to try to think of any more I have to say before I close this video. Seemed like me, I had something on my mind a while ago, and I got kind of off track a little bit discussing... Uh, Working on that FVH Demon. I like a cobbler, moist, shiny shoes all the time. I don't like a dust that irritates me. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the closing of video three for the Dumas Carol Moran 172nd scale diesel electric tug. It's a very good kit, guys. Like I, like I mentioned on the last video, you know, I mean, it's a great little chunky gift to give to your little boy who wants to go outside, enjoy himself like you do with your radio control goodies. And uh, like I said before, when you buy this for your son or something like this, don't let him. Don't, don't let don't let him to believe that it's a completed kit in that box. Once you pick it up, it's not. It takes work to put it together. It's a, it's a model. It's a kit. When their hands leave off, yours take over. So it's an excellent gift to give to the younger one. It's a good, excellent gift for you. It's not a big. It's not a small model. And uh, it seems like me. It's just right, you know. So when you take it out in the water, don't let it wander too far because it's small. But I want to tell you something. 
everything's so optimal delusional out there when you're out there in the pond running a really control boat, especially a boat this small. When you take it out there further and further, it gets very, very small. It'll be like a speck out there. Especially, you got a lot of refraction out there from the sunlight when it hits the water and it glitters. It gets out there in the out there in the, in the sun. You lost your boat. You got to actually walk around and find out where it's at and take control. So you want to make sure something small will get away from you too far. Because, like I say, guys, we, it may be big in front of your face, but when you put it out in that water, it's it's awful dinky. Same thing with my big harbor tug I have over there. You got one that's over a meter long. And it looks like as small as this tug when it gets out there in the water. So there's a lot of optical delusions out there. So you gotta pay special attention when you run these little parts out in the water. Don't let them get away from you. They will. Okay, I'm gonna get away right now and get hot on the cabin. And uh, get a video of via probably, uh, what's the day? Oh, good grief. Today, Saturday. I think by Wednesday I'll have a, either Wednesday or uh, Tuesday I'll have a video number four for you. And the final reveal will be after that, and after that it'll be uh, airplane time. Okay, this is Frankie Day signing off. Make Mama happy always. Take care of your family. Take care of yourselves. Be focused when you drive your automobile. Spend wisely. And... Uh, and be aware of your surroundings, fellas. And buy yourself a good model. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day out there. It's so wonderful. Nice and blue skies. Nice, beautiful wind. Beautiful. Have a nice barbecue. And just go out there and just enjoy yourself. And you'll you'll find yourself very happy because that's what life's all about. Okay. God love you guys. Frankie Day signing off. God bless you. And we'll catch you on video number four next week and uh, I'll try to get that harbor I'll try to get George Washburn made in Bellwidge out for you too okay thank you Dave signing off God bless you guys happy modeling bye boys